They're gonna start eating, watch, watch this. Okay, perfect. And get your Q-tip soaking wet with. My little fulvous hair streak is eating away. Crawl up the cup. Bingo. Thank you for your cooperation. Silly little butterfly. Hi guys, David Fine here from Keys Moths. Uh, guys, today we are going to try and get eggs from some female hair streaks that I caught. Guys, these are a tropical hair streak called the fulvus hair streak. Uh, inside, they have a bright copper coloration in the inside the wings and they're really cool. They only live in southernmost Florida and I found two females, guys. And so, uh, but we're actually gonna show you how to set them up to get eggs in a different video. The, the purpose for this video is, guys, you know, if you want healthy butterflies and for them to lay eggs, you've got to figure out how to feed them. And so how do you feed a butterfly? I mean, look at the size of this butterfly. It's about the size of my pinky, uh, my pinky nail. That's a tiny butterfly, guys. Really small. They have a very small proboscis, very delicate. And so we got to figure out how to feed them. Uh, I learned a few tricks over the course of my time uh, feeding uh, at Butterfly World. I, I used to be uh, in the laboratory department there and managing the laboratory at Butterfly World. And one of the things we had to do was make sure that our butterflies were well fed. Well, guys, female butterflies, they, they already have all of their eggs, you know, in process and they're producing eggs. They've, when you find a wild caught female, chances are she's already uh, been mated. She's already got a spermatophore and she's already fertile. So uh, all she really needs is carbohydrates. So really simple sugar water. Guys, I'm going to show you a few tips on how to feed tiny butterflies to help get them to lay lots of eggs. Check this video out. All right. So what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and show you guys some tricks. Uh, these hair streak butterflies, this is Electrostrymon angelia, or the fulvus hair streak. I caught these late afternoon yesterday. Now it's morning. And what I want to do is I want to feed them uh, and get them nice and hydrated and with some good carbohydrates so they can have lots of energy and hopefully lay me lots of eggs. So guys, really simple. I'm going to show you how to do it. In order to feed a hair streak, all you need is water, some sugar, and a Q-tip. A paper towel would be helpful as well, but you guys, here's what we're gonna do. Very simple. We've got some water, and I'm just gonna take a teaspoon of sugar. You don't need a lot of water. You just need enough, just enough to uh, dissolve some sugar and get your Q-tip soaking wet with sugar water. So now I've got my sugar crystals in here and I'm just gonna dissolve, dissolve my sugar. Don't worry, it's coming girls, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. All right, so my sugar is almost completely dissolved. Now, next step is you just take a Q-tip and you dip it in your sugar water. So now your Q-tip is soaking wet, sugar water. And now, the, the, here's the trick. You gotta get your butterflies to cooperate. Now, there's, they're kind of freaked out because I've been picking the thing up. So what you wanna do is you wanna turn your cup upside down. What what they do is butterflies always instinctively will go up when frightened or disturbed. They're, they're kind of like proving me wrong right now. But usually they'll go up and they'll still walk around the top of a container. See here they go. Watch. They walk, 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 walk. Up, 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 up. All right. So what we want to do, it we don't want them getting out of this cup because it's very difficult to find a hair streak when it starts to fly around 
in your house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try and brace the, my phone here and I'm gonna just open. Okay, what I did was I, I just opened the lid of my cup, just, just loosened it. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, easier said than done, I'm gonna just stick the wet end of this Q-tip in the cup. And then what I've, then the trick is, how do you get your butterflies to actually find the sugar? So it would help if they were a little closer. See that the sun, the sun is that way because of the uh, windows. So it might help if I actually came at them from this side because they're gonna they're gonna go towards the windows. Now, as soon as one of the butterflies touched this Q-tip with their feet, they're gonna start eating. Watch, watch this. Okay, perfect. Exactly. So, guys, this butterfly right here. He found the sugar and he's on it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually take him out of the cup. I took my butterfly out of the cup. And as I did that, the other one flew out. I have no idea where it is. I'm gonna have to go find him. So check it out guys. Actually, I'm gonna put the flash on. All right guys, my little fulvous hair streak is eating away. Look at the proboscis, it's going to town. And so it's that easy. Now if I, typically I would not take the Q-tip out of the container. Uh, that doesn't help anything at all. In fact, when this guy is done eating, he'll just fly away real quick. And that's not, that doesn't help. <laughs> That doesn't help me if I'm trying to uh, keep a healthy butterfly inside of a container to lay eggs. Uh, in fact, his sister or fellow female butterfly got out and I have to go find him now. So, but, but here's what they'll do guys. When they're in captivity, if you do this once or probably twice a day, you just put a fresh Q-tip with some fresh sugar water. Oh, she actually, she actually stopped feeding. So, they don't need a whole lot. So what I'm gonna do guys, is I'm going to very slowly put this guy back into his cup. Watch this. Unless he wants to start feeding again. So what you do is you can just put, you can actually just put the Q-tip with the sugar water inside the cup and they'll crawl around the cup until they find it and they'll start eating. So guys, it's that simple. Uh, some other people will actually put like a, a small tissue that's saturated with the cute, uh, with the sugar water inside of the cup and they'll start eating that way. Um, but that's what I do before I set my butterflies up for, uh, egg laying. Oh, he's, he's feeding again. You can see the little proboscis going. You needed a break. Uh, before I set my butterflies up for egg laying, I make sure that I really hydrate them well. If they feed really, really well, they get their bodies full of fluids and you know you get the carbohydrates going, then they tend to lay a lot of eggs. And what, one of the biggest challenges in keeping live butterflies, especially if you're in my house, I'm in my house, guys. Uh, one of the problems is, is I've got an air conditioning you know, we love our comfort down here in South Florida. Um, I have an air conditioning that is keeping things very, very dry. So if I just let this guy just hang out in here too long without plenty of fluids, uh, it doesn't take long for a little tiny butterfly like this to dehydrate. And so um, you got to make sure you keep them, keep them fed. All right, now, come on, let's get off. All right, there we go. He's back in. Now, what I got to do is I got to go look for the other one, and I actually see it. So watch this, guys. I'm gonna show you the best way 
Of course, they go right to the light. Watch this. Watch what happens when I put him on the sugar water. He crawls right up onto it. You gonna crawl up on it? Yes, 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 yes. Instant, instantly starts to feed. And he's twitching his little hind wings. There we are, guys, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Thank you for your cooperation, Mrs. Electrostrymon Angelia. So this, the abdomen on this lady is really, really full. And so she hasn't even fed yet. So that means she's full of eggs. I'm looking forward to getting her set up in a container with the host plant. Because when I do, I have a feeling it's going to be pretty quick. She's going to lay me plenty of eggs. So uh, in my experience, guys, hair streaks, hair streaks lay eggs rather quickly. If you get them into the, uh, a container with their host plant, with the right with the right conditions, the right food. They lay eggs rather quickly. And so uh, check out our next video where I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a hair streak in a container to, to get eggs from them, get them to lay eggs. Guys. Mm, all right, well, full of this hair streak, guys, that simple. Sugar, water, a Q-tip, and we have a happy, happy butterfly. Time to get some eggs. All right, she stopped feeding, so time to get them back in the cup. And we're gonna get some host plant in there. Crawl up the cup. Bingo. That's it, guys. All right, now that I have these guys back in their cup, I'm gonna flip it back the right way. now. One other thing that you can do is you can actually, with like an X-Acto knife, cut a little hole or like a little kind of like a X grid here. And then, so now there's actually a hole in the top of your lid and you can get your wet Q-tip and you can actually just stick the wet Q-tip down inside of the cup like this through the hole. And as long as it's sitting there, you can put maybe you can put two of them in and they'll feed just like that. In fact, over, over a day or two, they'll learn to go to your Q-tip. When they see the Q-tip coming in, they know it's fresh sugar water and they'll actually learn to go to it. So that's how we feed our hair streaks. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video on feeding hair streak butterflies and, uh, and getting them used to eating. Guys, uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the video. That helps out our channel when you give us a like. Please like the video, uh, it just takes a second. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. We've got tons and tons of butterfly moth videos for you. I'm going to get these guys set up in a container so that they can start laying eggs and we can show you the life cycle of this tropical beauty. So guys, uh, like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to check out our website, keysmoths.com. And we've got 700 butterflies and moths just from the Florida Keys that are documented for you. Uh, Till next time, guys, let's get out there and find some cool bugs. Uh, take care now.